let me take you to the stages of kidney disease right now stage one and i told you there are stages where you will be banned from using salt that one we agree but there's the stages where if you are banned to take salt look at your doctor and smile and keep taking your salt stage one remember for normal functioning of the kidneys your filtration rate filtration rate is what is actually filtering at the bowman's capsule or at the glomerulus in this bowl of us okay so filtration is happening here so the amount of fluid that is being filtered uh, that gets into the uh, into the tube that is what we consider as gfr the glomerular filtration rate gfr so understand this if you're filtering fluid volumes of above 90 ml per minute and above which is just 90 or above 90 ml of fluids filtered in that kidney per minute that is normal kidney functioning normal is 90 and above and also stage one is 90 and above so yes stage one kidney problem can actually be classified as just normal so this time there are no symptoms this time you're not experiencing any problem but above 90 ml per minute that is stage one stage two when your filtration has now reduced so you've caused a lot of inflammation in the sieve and now your, your filtration rate has gone down when that filtration is going down from around 60 to 89 that is stage two it is called mild kidney function the gfr is 60 to 89 stage 3 stage 3 is actually classified into a and b we talked about that right so stage 3a and 3b stage 3a the filtration rate is at 45 to 59 so we started with 90 and above we came to 69 to 89 and now we are at 45 to 59 that is stage 3a stage 3b is 30 to 44 so stage 3a 45 to 59 well done stage 3b 30 to 44 mls per minute now i don't want you to cram these things because when you go for a kidney function test these things the parameters are there you don't even need to cram them they will come with normal ranges and they will show you if they are normal they are below normal or above normal so that's how you know it and then we now move to stage four understand from stage one all the way to stage three b you're still taking salt because the symptoms are very mild and most people who experience kidney disease they don't they don't see these symptoms earlier until it's too late that's when they start seeing these problems now we have stage four stage four of course because stage three b is actually 30 to 44 that will tell you easily that stage 4 is below 30 so you're filtering 15 ml per, mi per minute all the way to 30 ml per minute so below 30 but above 15 that is stage 4 at this moment in time what you need is dialysis and apparently most people get to here without even knowing okay the one day you go to hospital you've been diabetic for a long period of time now you go to hospital and boom you're at stage 4 kidney failure and now they are telling you you have you need dialysis and at this stage i want you to see this you start experiencing these swelling legs when you travel your legs are swelling and when you push when you that edema when you press that edema on your feet it causes a pit it forms a hole so it's called pitting edema and when you remove your finger that hole takes time before it fills up so normally if you press your hand or you press your leg that hole fills up instantly but when you have a failing kidney you press that leg or that edema uh, site you form a hole when you release the finger the hole does not come back it pops slowly that's what you call the pitting edema that is the one side uh, the one symptom that now you are at a dangerous place and you can do that if you're having a kidney problem you can simply do that or some of you who experience edema all the time even if you're pregnant simply do that press that leg where there's edema and see if you're forming that pitting edema number two a lot of fatigue in the morning you wake up you're so tired and yet you slept so deeply but you wake up your body is still tired there's a lot of fatigue you don't feel like doing anything there's a lot of malaise general body weakness that is a symptom of this because the kidneys are the ones that filter toxins from the body but because now you're unable to filter the toxins what is happening is you are retaining the toxins in the body and these toxins are affecting your liver function your brain function your muscle function and specifically the uremias we call it uremic syndrome so therefore urea ammonia all of them are building up the bun blood uh, urea nitrogen they are building up and causing you a lot of fatigue 
also when you go and take a hb is very low why the kidneys are failing and now you're having anemia and you know symptoms of anemia you start with a mild headache then this dizziness and sometimes syncope syncope is fainting okay and then of course there is this nausea that comes in every time you you don't feel like eating there's no appetite and there's nausea all the time however they also experience a lot of weight loss because now they are not eating and they are diabetic for that matter they are filtering out sugar through urine and now this is happening now they are losing weight so fast this is a kidney problem that is at stage four okay so you lose appetite you feel weak uh, there's a general tiredness there's anemia there's blood vision dizziness and sometimes fainting and muscle cramps all the time so you experience muscle cramps every single day and doesn't stop now at this level in time of course we will have to go for dialysis so why would you wait to get to stage four for you to go to dialysis why would you wait to get to stage four for you to start dropping sugars why and this is the stage where most of us get to and then we get at you now we are shocked oh and we think we are so good we don't deserve these problems yet we've been eating sugars all through you've heard people say all the time that we will be given a new body in heaven we limp at tapa miguni right You've had people when you tell them avoid sugar, they tell you, oh, sugar is part of DNA, right? You tell people, protect your kidneys, do not use these skin products, ladies. You're like, ah, you know what? I have to do this. This is my body, my body, my choice. Well done. Now, remember, a failing kidney does not give you symptoms earlier. A failing kidney comes in slowly, slowly. Some of these people are diagnosed with this without even having a symptom. They just went to hospital, their blood sugars are misbehaving. They have now urinalysis test, shows high glucose. Now you're diagnosed with a stage 4 kidney disease. And now next is dialysis. Amazing. So at this moment in time, you are waiting either dialysis, you're waiting a transplant, and then you're told now no salt. So if somebody tells you no salt, if a doctor tells you no salt at this level in time, that is a good one. <laughs> that is a good one. But these are the ones who tell you, oh, salt is going to cause you hypertension. Oh, salt has been a problem all through done i've subscribed thank you checkmate i appreciate that okay so those people who keep telling you oh you know you should avoid salt because salt is the cause of hypertension look straight into their eyes and tell them lady salt causes flexibility of blood vessel so how does it cause me hypertension salt can leave the body through sweat glands through tears through saliva through urine naturally so how can i end up having excess salt my test buds in the mouth cannot even allow me to take too much salt too much salt how much is too much even the test buds will tell you hey gentleman or lady you are doing the wrong thing but look at you eating the carbohydrates the sugars you take one pack of crisps and you eat an entire pack and you're still hungry but again salt is the problem here no okay salt is the problem no it's not about the crisps potato crisps that you're eating all the time is this look at the, the popcorns that you pop a whole bucket of popcorns being consumed by two people as they play video games but again salt is the problem right <laughs> well, well. <laughs> so anyway at this level in time anemia is there recurrent infections are there urine has uh, sugars and if you urinate on the komchanga you will attract a lot of insects actually that was the number one way of them diagnosing uh, diabetes ukombele people used to urinate and then insects flock on their urine because they love sugars so if you, you see that problems hypertension is here very very unstable blood pressures and then psychosis people start getting crazy because of kidney problems now you see most of your people who are actually in rehab centers they are in the rehabs not because they are psychic because they have a kidney problem hello <laughs> some of those people in the rehabs are not there because they abuse drugs is because they abuse drugs that cause them kidney problems and now they're experiencing psychosis as a symptom of kidney failure how is that so kidneys filter urea and ammonia okay they filter that but when you have dysfunctional kidneys your urea and your ammonia and your nitrogen start building up in blood now it is the function of the kidneys and the function of the liver to actually clear this ammonia in the system however now you have a failing kidney you cannot clear it out so it starts to build up and then of course it goes through the blood into the brain it crosses the blood brain barrier gets into the brain and starts causing you brain inflammation some people called it men meningitis but when you experience ammonia in your brain you start experiencing symptoms of a crazy person a mad person this is what we call hepatic encephalopathy 
hepatic encephalopathy. And in hospitals, if somebody is experiencing such, they are given lactulose. We talked about uh, uh, laxatives the other day. We did. We talked about lactulose. So lactulose can actually be used to help you recover from hepatic encephalopathy. Amazing, right? But why would you wait to get crazy for you to go and take lactulose? <laughs> why can't you just avoid the sugars and all that? And we'll talk about the cause of kidney failure. So anyway, psychosis, bone disease, recurrent infections, anemia, urine that is sweet testing, okay? And now you need a dialysis or you need a transplant. However, that is stage four. We are filtering 15 to 29 or to 30, thereabout. Stage five, which is the, now the end stage. This one, there's no recovery. <laughs> this one, you need a transplant. This is why you're filtering below 15 mLs per minute. Imagine a kidney that was supposed to filter over 100 mLs per minute. Now it's filtering below 15, maybe 10, maybe 5. And now you're retaining a lot of fluid. Your face is becoming round. You, are, you look at like somebody who, your skin is just very pale. Because of anemia, of course, because of buildup of toxins, we are seeing fluid at, uh, below your skin. You're seeing this edema in the legs. And then there's a way you start turning, your skin start turning black. Thank you, Ibarra. Your still skin starts turning black. That is where you know, I, I am at the wrong place. <laughs> I am at the wrong place. At this moment in time, tell me, who will tell me, Mbinguni Ntapua Kidnimpia? Tell me. Who among us still will tell me, oh, you know what? In heaven, I'll be given a new kidney at this level in time. So now, at this moment in time, you're, you're Kiburiako in Aisha. Yeah? Kiburi, zero. Now you don't remember, you used to tell people, oh, you know what, let me just take sugar, I mean, we shall all die. You forget that, right?